thing I do better than talking is rocking out. Yeah! I rock rough and tough with my afro puffs. Selling my comic books. I'm going to explain to you in five words or less what the American dream is all about. Buy my comic book, please. Here's how it works. Two guys got this dream, right? So they're like, let's make a comic book. They make the comic book, they go to a convention, they sell it, bam, instant millionaire. We sold over five comic books. Five. At $1.75 a piece, that must be thousands, right? I don't know, I'm just selling them. This is what America's all about. Young, enterprising businessmen with a dream. Oh, robots are cool, zombies are jerks. Robots fighting zombies in outer space. What we did was, we distilled comic books down to their yeah, most yeah, potent yeah, form. All right? Please. No. John Hold on. You're ruining John my bit. Tracy. Quiet now. Please Just focus the on the artwork. In lobby C. John Tracy. Please is this your first time here? This is our first lobby time at the convention. Uh, Thank you. Hold on. There's a muffin on page 11 that's really kicking. Hold on a second. Yeah, see, look. Zoom in on the muffin. This muffin is questioning the nature of reality. It wonders, why am I here? What is it like being a muffin? This is uh, the first year I'm at the con uh, con Comic-Con. Comic-Con. You know, the brain works faster than the mouth sometimes. Uh, we've been talking about making books for years. We finally made our book. We showed up. We paid the money. Uh, here we are trying to sell them. It's tough. Really, is this your first book ever you've done? First book ever. And it's a kicker, robots fighting zombies in outer space. This is the moonshine of comic books. This is gonna kick you into next week. The way I, <laughs> the way I figure it is, uh, you show up, it's more sort of, I don't know whether I should just talk about the book or what, but I don't really know how anyone makes any money on this. Uh, it's an expensive convention. This is all almost sort of advertising prices. If you don't have the money to kick away a little bit because you're not going to make the money on sales. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people just will not buy a comic. We even made our book $1.75 because we thought we wanted it to be cheap so people would get it. Not an issue. They will either buy it or they won't. And if they will buy it, the $1.75 is nice, but... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm a little disappointed that in America today you can't come up with the greatest idea for a comic book ever and have everyone just flock to you. Um, apparently it's trickier than that. This is the uh, Picasso of comic books. This is the art book of the now, the in book, the hip book. It's a, it's a art deco, it's deco retro. It's a nouveau deco retro. And it's only $1.75 and it's got a talking frog. It's got a butter churn. It's got an ad for chock full of mystery morning beverage. Ooh, the delicious suspense. I don't understand why they're not selling like hotcakes. There used to be a couple of guys in a room cranking out crazy stories that people are going to want and making them cheap, you know? We can't compete with people all the way over there. You know, we just can't. If you took Iron Man 47 and you put it next to our book, people might go for our book more than, you know, the same book that's been around for 57 years. It's not an industry that goes for innovation. It's not an industry that really goes for originality because I think those things are suppressed. I think those things are suppressed in the country as a whole. Uh, once you have more, yeah, where's my soapbox or my cigar box? Once you have more administrators and you have creative people, that's where the process breaks down. That's where society starts to fall apart. And it's all in my comic book for $1.75. I don't even care anymore. All I'm right. going to bed. Where was one up? I'm up. Comic books, comic books, comic books. Hallelujah, friends and neighbors, testify to the comic book. Only a dollar seventy-five. Get yourself thirty-two pages of salvation. We got a transcendental muffin. We got a banjo playing frog. We got a space snake getting blown to kingdom come. Uh, and it's funny. Uh, <laughs> 
Oh, that's good. That spaceship's wearing underwear. Is this uh, the Robots and Zombies comic? Over at DC, they've been sending people over here. Oh, so wow! Great. My faith in the industry is restored. DC I, Comics is sending people over to us. Someone showed this here. It's the funniest thing I've read. Yeah. This is the best but let me, let me explain something to you. Yesterday, this man was a two-foot-tall sloth from Borneo. <laughs> Today, look at him. I'm Opposable a thumbs, lungs. He's looking forward to the future. This is what it's all about. The American dream in action. Are we being filmed? Yeah, I think so. This is a... <laughs> One never knows in this country anymore. Yeah. I think one should automatically assume you're being filmed at all times. Well, I'm going to get some money from the wife, and I'll be right back and buy you out. Please do. Go okay. mug somebody and buy me. Pleasure to meet you again. I'm for sale. Thank you. I look forward to being someone's commodity in the future and being fired from my own comic book that I built with my own two hands, because it's not sexy and hip for the kids anymore.